Hi guys, it's Leah or Alyssos and welcome back to my 1.20 Let's Play. So as you guys can see, I have finally added shaders and I finally finished up my house. It's really cute. Um, first of all, we had these Neapolitan stairs, you know, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. I thought it would be really cute, and inside is all cherry themed, and I actually didn't decorate that much, however, I did start on the bedroom. So this is what it looks like upstairs. I'm really sorry that I did this off camera, but I really wanted to, you know, kind of make some progress, and by the time I filmed, you know, we would already have kind of like a house or something but yeah it's really cute i have a little bit of storage and i crafted this chiseled bookshelf basically you can now put books inside the bookshelves and you could actually store them now which is very useful and that's honestly one of my favorite things in this update here we got a little kitchen as well and my crafting stuff all my food stuff and you know i've been trying to collect some food and i think i'm actually gonna grab some cooked chicken in the back it still needs a lot of work but i do have my apiary area and actually i'm gonna drink a honey bottle right now and i've been trying to breed the bees because we don't have a lot of them but it should be easy because we do have these pink petals we could breed them with wait they're coming out okay let's breed them come here bees i don't have a lot of bees so i'm gonna try to breed them as much as possible Oh, look at this little baby. Hello. So yeah, I did all this work off camera. I kind of made this into like a little cave, which I plan to make prettier um, and kind of expand more around. And other than that, that's all I've really done. You know, I've just been trying to grow the trees because I had to cut a bunch down to finish my house. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of my house. It's super simple, but I really, really love it. Anyways, so I think one of the main goals for today is to start and build a bigger farm. Um, yeah, a better area for the wheat because we obviously don't have too much going on except for the wheat. And then maybe we'll explore a little bit and maybe kind of look for an area to do like a little barn. Um, I'm thinking the barn area would be somewhere here. I'm not too sure yet. But it looks like we have a wandering trader over this way. Hi! <gasps> a moss block, okay. Sand, mountain seeds, and cactus. Very interesting trades. <gasps> Wait a minute. What is that? Yeah, wh what is that? Yeah, I don't know either. Let me go check it out. You guys, I have no clue what this is. It looks like there's a lectern on it. Let's go check this out. I swore that this was not their last episode. So I don't know what's going on. Is there something new that changed around here? I have no idea. Um, let's be very careful. I don't know who put this here, but let's read the book. To whomever this letter finds, long ago, Sakura Sanctuary was a place people from all around the world would visit. They traveled mouth and mouth to see the sanctuary. As the years have gone by, the sanctuary was no longer taken care of. Structures were nowhere to be found and the cherry grove completely took over the valley with its big trees, overgrown grass and flowers, and most importantly, no visitors. The beautiful tree that once used to stand here perished. It is up to you, reader, to restore what Sakura's sanctuary once used to be. Okay, I'm a little scared because it's turning nighttime, but... I guess this place is called Sakura Sanctuary? I'm not gonna lie, I've never even heard of this place. But I guess it's up to me to bring the sanctuary back to life. But first, we're gonna get some rest. Okay guys, so I made this little pathway area and I think this is where my main farm is going to be. I'm sorry guys, I did this off camera because I wasn't really sure if I wanted it to be in this area. But I think it does look good, so we're gonna keep it there and... I'm gonna start bringing some crops over and I have a ton of wheat seeds so I'm gonna bring everything and I've also been working on breeding the bees so I have a ton of bees right now hello bees okay we're gonna try and breed them hello come to me okay um any more bees yes okay I place all the water blocks under 
the wood blocks and I'm just gonna take some water and make an infinite water source here okay, this should be enough for my starter farm and we're gonna place them all over the wheat okay i also made this little farm and i'm just going to hold some animals that i can find today in there and as much as i want to um build a barn i don't really have the resources for it and we don't have time for this episode so we're gonna save it for another time we can always expand i already see a few sheep over here so i'm gonna go and take them and hopefully we could find some cows as well <gasps> Oh my gosh, a bunny! What are you doing here? We also got a pig right there. Okay, we're gonna try to take some chickens too. I wish we could take the pig. Okay, so now we got a house and a farm and some animals. I definitely want to make the areas better later, but one thing that I need are some more resources. I think I literally only have six iron left, so I decided to kind of do um, an opening of the mines this way, and I'm not gonna go um, like mining too much, but I just wanted to show you guys like me kind of making and getting started on the mines um yeah i don't know uh, mining is like not my favorite thing to do on camera because sometimes like it could take a really long time to um be interesting you know so that's what's going on but i just wanted to set up my stuff here and we can get started so i already have two stone pickaxes then i have um iron in case we get any diamonds which you know I'm not really sure I'm gonna mine too much anyway, so yeah. But this is great, I did need a bunch of iron, thankfully we have some right now. And oh my gosh, this is a lot of iron. Wow. We're in a mountain, so it's gonna take some time for me to reach like a cave level or you know anything, but it looks like we got something here. Oh my gosh. Okay, my stone pickaxe just broke, so I might not actually be mining for too long, but at least we now have a strip mine we could go down to. And I kind of want to make um, like a railway system here to get down quicker, but yeah, we're just gonna kind of dig as much as I can, and we can go back on the surface. Okay, we've made it all the way down, um, not to bedrock, but whatever this place is, um, into like a cave area because i was going pretty far i think we're like below we're basically level six so um we're gonna get to experience the new caves in vanilla minecraft because i usually play modded so it has more stuff than usual but yeah i'm not really used to like big caves like this i'm used to just running into bedrock when we hit this level but i think the caves in 1.20 or i guess 1.17 and up are different <gasps> oh my god there's so many oh my guys i've never come across that oh get away from me i'm not sure yet though i don't think i'm ready for it but i definitely will be getting the diamonds off camera but this is crazy i really was like scared that i wasn't gonna find any diamonds but we did and yeah um i'm gonna safely get back to my area and make myself some iron armor because we don't even have any of that so we really need to start surviving and surprisingly um I haven't died in this either, so I'm really happy with that. We don't have a lot of stuff in our inventory, but this whole ravine being open to us is amazing, and I can't wait to go mining. Okay, this is some stuff I got from the mines. I'm really happy with the progress, but I definitely want to do more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. Goodbye!
Now and then I feel like 